Hunga Tonga put a huge amount of water vapor into the stratosphere to huge altitudes. And um, that's something we've, we've never seen a volcano uh, emit stuff so high. It's unique. I mean, it's really, really unique. And it has had a direct impact on the Southern hemisphere temperatures in the stratosphere and the winds, a very, very large impact. What has the impact been? Well, first of all, the, the the mid latitudes of the southern hemisphere above, you know, about sixteen kilometers, you know, ten miles or so, um, is much much colder than than normal, and that's the because of the water vapor cooling to space. Okay, water vapor is absorbs um, in in absorbs and emits in the IR. Now, since there's no there are no clouds above us. Um, are above, you know, when you get above 16 kilometers, there's nothing really up there. So all these water vapor molecules, extra water vapor molecules are emitting directly to space, cooling off that column of stratospheric air in the mid latitudes. All right. Now, what that does is it's in the subtropics, that's accelerated the, the winds. So there is kind of a, an anomalous flow um, all over the Southern Hemisphere right now um and and that might be part of this delayed breakup nobody's really sure but but hunga tonga's had a huge impact on the southern hemisphere have you seen that before with any volcanic eruptions have you seen like mount saint helens did was there any long-term impact there well mount, mount pinatubo um injected a huge amount of sulfur dioxide so2 okay now so2 gets oxidized to form um, and it and it forms sulfate aerosol. So you get these little tiny particles, um, and and they're they're the little tiny spheres, and they appear white. So they reflect radiation back to space. So the Earth's surface cooled because of Mount Pinatubo. Now Hunga Tonga, um, uh, literally the volcanic eruption itself increased the total amount of water in the stratosphere by ten percent. One volcano, one eruption in one day increased the amount of water in the stratosphere by 10%. And so there's there's real questions about, well, what, it, what it has Hunga Tonga impacted the ozone? In fact, we don't know because that water vapor is now in the stratosphere. It'll be in the stratosphere for years, for many years. So the water vapor went up. It'll have an impact on the ozone hole next year. Not this year because it didn't get in to the vortex. But next year, it probably has a big impact. So there's a temperature impact. Is there a precipitation impact? No, because it's all in the stratosphere. The stratosphere is is pretty dry overall, okay? Um, and so uh, it, it's really just, it's water vapor that we see, uh, which absorbs in the IR. So what about like air travel? Is that, how long is air travel impacted? It's not a direct impact there may be indirect impacts because you've, you've now got this accelerated subtropical jet up in the stratosphere. That might, uh, you know, because the stratosphere does have an influence on the troposphere, you'll get an indirect impact.